Okay, we'll see if we can get this video done in not too long. But this is on a 2012 Chrysler Town & Country, my car, sharpensbest.com. Hey, this is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. How you doing? I want to clue you guys in. This is under the uh, category of you piss me off. So anyway, I just want to show you, if you go on uh, YouTube and look up replacing right tail light on a Chrysler Town & Country 2012, it looks so incredibly simple, but they splice the video, and I think I know why. There's a woman doing the work. She makes it look so easy. Oh, a woman can do this, you know? Uh, yeah, they can take out the two bolts. They can even uh, pop the taillight out of the housing in the car. But that's where the fun starts, because then you have to get the uh, wiring unplugged. And believe me, that is not an easy deal. All right, so anyway, I'm going to show you some stuff here and let you know that just in case you start trying to replace the taillights in your uh, 2012, uh, you know, probably 11, 12, 13, 14, somewhere in there, Chrysler Town & Country. Now, let me show you some stuff here about these plug-ins. Chrysler, uh, you know what? You've got to be the stupidest most ridiculous, unintelligent people on the face of the earth. If this is how you think you should make a plug-in uh, keeper to keep the plug-ins together. Um, and uh, so anyway, let me show you what I did here. Now this has gone on for two days. Yesterday was about two and a half hours. Uh, today, um, I went to the pull-apart store, uh, the junkyard, to get another tail light, actually both the tail lights, and um, you know, kind of start over from there. I did find one tail light, the right side, which is the one I really needed. Um, and uh, let, so let's go ahead and, and show you the lights, the plug-ins, the little keeper uh, on the plug-in that keeps it from coming unplugged, and describe to you what happened to me. Well, yesterday I was trying to get them plugged back together. Now, mind you, the one is brand new. It's from Rock Auto. Uh, it does not actually fit. The tail light fits in the hole. The diameter and the shape of the plug-in, the male and the female fit, but the male side of the plug-in will not uh, go into the receptacle side uh, far enough to make connections with the uh, prongs that, you know, the ones that stick out and the ones that it goes into. So let me show you what I was up against. Okay, these are the two tail lights. The one that's got writing on it, okay, is the one that I just got from the junkyard to pull apart. This one is the brand new one from Rock Island. And like I say, there's no problem in the tail light housing itself. It fits right in there. That's not a problem. You notice this, that's brand new wiring. Out of this, brand new tail light. I'm going to lay it down easy so I don't scratch the lens. Okay, you'll notice that the wiring that's in the new one doesn't look very new. It's not. This looks new. Because it is. Okay, I even tried that. The problem is on, on your uh, the female side of the wiring, you have a system here. Okay, and there's a little black tab that my, my thumb fingernail is on. And then you have a little red one. You push down on the black one and then you slide the red one back and then you slide the male end of the receptacle out. That all sounds really easy and, and, and everything. But in the first place, try to hold the black tab down, slide this out and hold everything while you pull on the plug-in that has not been pulled apart. Uh, in possibly 10 years. So anyway, then the 
let's go back here to the car. Okay, so the male end has a little nub on it. Oh, there, under, under the middle of my, my finger. Okay, and then uh, here, to get it lined up right, you have two on one side, one on the other side, they're lining uh, I don't know, nubs of plastic. And it goes in there quite a ways, it's pretty deep, okay? Sorry about the trying to find them there in the video, okay? That all sounds pretty easy, but trying to plug in the new one, that's the new one from Rock Auto, and I had to completely destroy the area where it latches, trying to get the, the one that's on my car here plugged into this side that goes into the light housing okay now they actually went together which would be like this about halfway then to get this one into that one i pushed i wiggled i pushed and wiggled pushed and wiggled like i say now it went in there about halfway so i know it fits that way all right, then when I looked in there, the little black tab that's on this side, on the left of the red, kept hitting. No matter what I did, it kept hitting, and the little black tab is actually the latch. The red part is the keeper. Okay, to keep the black part <laughs> from getting pressed. Inside there, I, for the life of me, I, did, I can't figure out how the hell they think something is going to press the black part and release the wiring inside the car inside behind the tail light and the little black part is so flimsy when you push down on it it doesn't lift up to let the little keeper part slide out long story short about two two and a half hours yesterday working on the new one I finally just took a screwdriver and ripped out all the guts to the keeper, thinking that would work. I kept trying to get mine plugged into the new one. It would go in halfway and then it just come to a stop, wouldn't go any further. So now I went and got one from the junkyard in really nice shape. Okay, and uh, it is plugged together. They cut it off at the junkyard. That's okay, because I'm not supposed to have to use the part that's already on my car, still on my car. It should be a matter. And then, this is the stupidity of it. Instead of putting all of the locking mechanism Okay, that little red thing you can see on the right side of the black plug-in instead of putting that out here where it's easily gotten at they put it in there where you can't get at it and if you try to take this part no oh, if you try to take that part apart so you can get it out to work on it you break those little plastic things so that's screwed up all right now i've got the one that i paid fifteen dollars for from the junkyard with the wiring on it I've got to try to get that unplugged so that I can where the wires are here's where the wires are comes down to that plug-in so on the end of the wires like here is the plug-in that I'm going to try to plug into the new tail light this is going to have to be done in a couple videos because I can't hold the camera the tail light work the lock, unplug it, and everything else by myself, and I don't have anybody else. So let's see. I'm going to shut the video off, and then I'll have Chance Buell, my videographer, marry the two together uh, in the editing. And uh, so let's see how this goes, trying to get 
that keeper apart, the little red thing in the black tab, to get this part of the plug-in out so I can plug that part in to that part. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. If you go to YouTube and you look at the woman changing the uh, taillight lens, the whole lens, it's all together. Uh, by the way, if you buy it new, they're $280. Uh, Rock Island was $100 and the junkyard was $15. So go to the junkyard first. Uh, do the pull apart. And uh, then I'm going to keep track of the time that it takes me to try to get this all apart uh, and get it back in my car. And um, But the woman, watch what she does and uh, notice that they don't show you the part between when they take the lens out of the car and then the next time you see it, the lens is back in the car. And she goes, oh, that was easy. That was simple. That only took me 14 minutes. Bullshit. We'll talk to you later. Okay, in the first part of this video, um, I think I told you that I pulled the guts out of the, the wiring harness, the lights, out of my old tail light assembly and put them in the new tail light assembly trying to get this plug in to work. All right, so now those are the new, that's the assembly of lights and plug ins out of the new light which is the one I have here that I took out of the new and put the old ones in. Because first of all, if you don't get this plugged in far enough, obviously, the light isn't going to work. As far as I pushed it in, as hard as I was pushing, I kept thinking that the two plug-ins were all the way together. Come to find out they were not. I thought the problem could be fixed by putting my old light harness assembly in the new one. That did not work. Um, and that's all explained in the previous part of the video. So now I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to put the new wire harness lights uh, back in the new tail light. So I actually have a new light ready and waiting. The one that's in the car, I said, I went to the pull apart, the junkyard, and got a light for $15. Then I went to, I still couldn't get the plug-in apart. So I went down to the Chrysler garage here in town, Cowboy Dodge, Cheyenne, Wyoming. The guy was very gracious and showed me how to get them apart. You pull the red part back first and then press down on the black part when you see in the video that you watch that this lady did. I just didn't realize that it's backwards from what she said. You slide the red part first and then you press down on the black part. So don't do what she says, do what I say, <laughs> or you'll never get those plugins apart. And then on the uh, gasket, trying to get the male end past the gasket, uh, if you don't grease it or something to make the square corners on the plug-in go past the gasket, you'll never get that done either. So, all right, here we go. Um, I'm going to put the new parts back in the new tail light, and then we'll... Talk to you later. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. You take care, and you have a great day. And you stay sharp out there. Okay, this video on YouTube is actually pretty deceiving, and I believe dishonest. Uh, you would never get the plug-in on the taillight assembly apart 
going by her instructions. And I can guarantee you, she did not get that taillight assembly plug-in apart by what she told us. And you notice she cut the video from where she was trying to get it, uh, the plug-in apart, which is this right here. And all of a sudden she has it, uh, the light back in the other side and says, all you have to do is unbolt it, unplug it, plug in the new one, bolt the new one back in, you're done. That is not the truth. And I'm gonna show you why I say that is not the truth. If you follow her instructions, you're probably gonna pull your hair out, go get your 12 gauge, and shoot the tail light assembly. Okay. It's obvious I have the real parts right here on my desk. And that little red gizmo right there Okay, is the part that we're working on, that she was working on, that she said took her four or five minutes to figure it out. She never did figure it out if she used the process that she said in the end how you take it apart because you will never get it apart using her information. This little red piece, you simply slide out and then push on the black piece. She said you have to push down on the black piece as you slide the red piece. That is not true, that will not happen. It's a two-stage deal. You slide the red one, then you push down on this and pull your plug-in out. So it would go in like this this side has one prong, excuse me, two. Where are we? The right side has two guiding posts and the left side has one. So you look at your part. It's a whole lot better when somebody else is holding the camera. <laughs> and you'll see that it goes together like this. Okay. And then you push it to you push it together. It's a little hard. Okay, that clicked. And then you would push this back in, that locks it. So to get it out, you actually pull this one first. And it's not easy, you actually have to get a screwdriver or something because you'll break your fingernail and this is not, I forgot my screwdriver. This is not what I should be using, so be careful. You'll probably see me get cut for the first time here. <sighs> Crap, this is not easy. Okay, that popped open. You still not get it out. That's when you push it down on this. I heard it pop, and then you pull like that. Now when this is where it belongs in here, like this, okay, then the, the red thing that I'm talking about is actually underneath, I'll hold still, you, you'll actually, is in here. Okay, and then you have this area, so you only have about two inches in here. And if you don't know how it comes apart in the first place, you don't even know what you're doing, much less trying to get up in there to work on it. Okay, so then you would take this part, put it in there like that, 
and then push them together and then slide the red part back towards the right and that locks it in there but to get it out it's a whole nother story but I'm telling you right now if you go by what this lady has said you'll never get that apart just as I'm pretty sure she didn't and if she would have filmed what she went through to get that apart and get help to do it and whatever instead of just showing us with the tail light back in the other side you would see the mess that she went through because you cannot get those apart unless you do it in the right sequence the right way okay I found that out I bought a hundred dollar light literally had to destroy the locking device trying to get the old plug-in into the female side of the plug-in on the new light determined I was going to get it plugged back in if I needed to I'd just tape it but as hard as you have to push to get this part excuse me this part into that part they would never come apart especially since they're back in behind the light and then you bolt the light back in so there's the bolt holes there's one two here's your lining pins that go in the car frame and with everything the way it is and this apparatus right here there and there to keep this from wiggling around it would never come apart bound determined I was going to get it together I tore up the brand new one to get this plugged in okay and now that I've had it apart and back together 20 times it's getting easier to do okay so this would go just like this there's a little nub right there okay right there sticking up that your latch would catch when you push these together like this but when it hits there this is part of the reason that I had to tear it apart as you look in here everything's backwards every time I turn it uh, it's not the way oops I just I just knocked you over all right let's move that come in here there's a red gasket around the the part that's on the right the black part I'm going to touch it and then get the pen away from it must go over the lip on the red part when you don't know what it looks like you don't know what you're doing you're taking it apart for the first time at the first moment and everything and you don't realize that that red gasket is there and that this part that corner sharp corner needs to go over the red gasket lip here and it won't it won't go unless you can figure out how to push really really hard on it now looking back on it I would have taken a tiny bit of grease and I would have put on this red part here so that this part would slide over it of course this is all hindsight this lady doesn't tell you any of that stuff so when you put it together this is what it would have looked like it would have hit there 
Now watch how hard I have to push out here in the open where I can really get a hold of everything. Okay. You don't have that much room. You don't know that it takes that much pressure to push it over the red part. You think the locking device is hanging up, so you tear the locking device completely off of it. Because, remember what I said, I'm bound determined I'm going to get this $100 light to work. And if I need to, I would just tape the, the union of these two. Okay. It's easier to pull apart because that I have it out here where I can really get a hold of the wiring and get a hold of the wiring here, like that, and like this, okay? But right there is as far as it would go until I learned, after I got it all taken out and got the locking device tore off of it and got to actually see that gasket in there and to see that the sharp corner on this hits that rubber and won't let it go. So even if you spit on it, it would probably slide past there. So I just want you guys to know that if you are of the nature to work on this yourself, now see, these are the brand new parts that I took out of the brand new light, which is this one. Those are the old parts that was in my car for 10 years because I thought I would achieve my goal easier. I did not because I didn't yet understand. It has taken somewhere in the neighborhood of three hours to actually grasp how all this goes. And so Chrysler, I just want to tell you, you suck. Your process of getting these parts apart and getting them back together is ridiculous. Your common everyday person that's just going to go out and change these, watching the video that this woman made, they actually think they know what they're doing. They get out there, they get the light housing out of the car, and they start the process of trying to take it apart and get it put back together. Well, good luck with that. Because the woman did not show us exactly how it all went, she jumped through that process. So she goes from, this is what you do, you unbolt it, unplug it, plug it back in, bolt it back in. So she jumps from where she took it out and said, I'm having trouble figuring this out, to the light is back in the housing, on, back in the, you know, the area where it belongs on the car. So, lady, you do a very serious injustice to everybody that's actually trying to change this, and they've never changed one before. And uh, it was a little cold out. As you can see, there's snow on the ground. So I just want you to know, if you're going to be doing YouTube videos, you better do them right. You cost me $115. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com, making a video called You Piss Me Off. Talk to you later. Well, I just as well try to show you all of this. These were in holes up here, up in there, so that was like this. I pried them out with my knife because I don't have a screwdriver handy. So they're out. So you have two tabs, one here, one here. Thumb on top of this one, finger underneath this one. And pull that out. which isn't real easy, and do the same thing to this one. Okay, then there's a plug-in here. And I'm sure that's got a keeper on it somewhere, right there. So we're gonna 
push in on that and take that off. Okay, then we're gonna put, I guess let's go with this one, put it back on like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> I gotta take the bulbs out. The bulbs actually just pull out. I've already discovered that. Hang on to them tight. Don't break the bulb. Okay. So, let's put... And, and I might get this screwed up. I might have to go fix that. So have a laugh with me if I'm wrong. Okay. So I'm going to put the clear one back in here. And there's a little groove on this side and a little groove on that side. So you actually have to get this little nub right here. Right there is off-centered. Okay. This one here. So let's put it in... Oops. Okay. They uh, fooled me. This one, you can't get them in wrong. This little nub is offset over there. And now if you turn it over, it's the same way here. So it can only go in this way. And it can only go in that socket. Okay. I'll tattle on myself. That's okay. So this one has a center groove and a center groove and these you'll see are in the center so it goes in that way or this way it doesn't make any difference like that now hang on to it firm and push it in there now we're gonna this is a crazy video never done one like this so now we're gonna look and see, okay, there's two different sizes. So the biggest one, which is up, goes in there like that, and then turn it, this one. They're, they're basically right because of the way the wire is, okay? But you do have to, now this one, <laughs> the biggest one's on the bottom. <laughs> Can't make it the same. So it has to go in that way. <sighs> and turn it. And then we got to put this back in there. Okay. And this is going to go like that and you have to push hard okay that's in can you imagine all of that when you really don't know what you're doing but now that I've had it in and out I don't know six seven times had the light the actual light in the housing in the car oh three times went to uh, cowboy dodge ask him how to get those two apart had him show me found out that the gasket will not allow the two parts to go together without pushing super hard or maybe putting a tiny bit of grease on the gasket okay so this is the assembly This part slides in to lock it. It slides back out to unlock it. Then you push down on that little tab. And you have to push it all the way down to get this part out. So the woman was saying in the video 
that you press down on the black while you pull back on this. That is absolutely not true. You slide back this direction with the red and then push this down and pull that other side out. So when you look at this one, how intact it is, and then look at th the new one, after I said before, tore all that crap out of there because I was bound determined I was gonna get those two plugged back together. I was gonna get them apart in the first place and then get them plugged back together. I still got it plugged together as hard as you have to push this one into that one it'll never come apart so the locking parts which is here <laughs> really isn't necessary and besides that like i said it's inside uh it's protected weather ice uh can't get to it stuff like that well this is brad buckner the video has gone a little longer than than i kind of wanted it to but I wanted to explain in enough detail that if you start this on your own, not knowing any of these things, you're going to have one hell of a problem. I hope I made it easier and you don't have to go through what I went through and go to the pull aparts, get a light for $15. Talk to you later.